Psalm 89, The Everlasting Faithfulness of God God is faithful even as His people is unfaithful is the point of this psalm. God's faithfulness is stated nine times, is everlasting in verses 1-2 to two, and surrounds Him in verse 8. Faithfulness defines Him and works through His attributes to guarantee fulfillment of all His promises. The psalmist praise God who faithfully and powerfully call Israel His special people, save them from their bondage, and promise King David an everlasting kingdom. God also promised that He will remain faithful to His promises for His people amidst their unfaithfulness. Believers today rejoice with the psalmist in the blessedness of knowing God and trusting His faithfulness through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of David, in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, as King over their lives. Jesus Christ, though born as man, is sinless as God is, became the perfect sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin. As He took on the sin of all humanity to death and was buried, He was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures to everlasting life. He, the faithful and true, will soon return as the King of kings and the Lord of lords to rule and judge the world and be the light and lamb of the new Jerusalem, His bride, who are redeemed sinners, raided by God, whose names are found in the Lamb's Book of Life. We will join in the psalmist's chorus to God who is forever faithful. Praise be to the Lord forever. Psalm 89, a muscle of Ethan the Ezra High. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your line forever and make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise your wonders. Lord, your faithfulness too in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the council of the holy ones, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround Him. Who is like you, Lord God Almighty? You, Lord, are mighty, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you steal them. You crush Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon sing for joy at your name. Your arm is endowed with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence. Lord, they rejoice in your name all day long. They celebrate your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength, and by your favor you exalt our horn. Indeed, our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. Once you spoke in a vision, to your faithful people you said, I have bestowed strength on a warrior. I have raised up a young man from among the people. I have found David my servant. With my sacred oil I have anointed him. My hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. The enemy will not get the better of him. The wicked will not oppress him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. My faithful love will be with him, and through my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand over the sea, his right hand over the rivers. 
he will call out to me, "You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior," and I will appoint him to be my firstborn, the most exalted of the kings of the earth. I will maintain my love to him forever, and my covenant with him will never fail. I will establish his life forever. His throne as long as the heavens endure. If his sons forsake my law and do not follow my statutes, if they violate my decrees and fail to keep my commands, I will punish their sin with the rod, their iniquity with flogging. But I will not take my love from him, nor will I ever betray my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant. Or alter what my lips have uttered. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness, and I will not lie to David, that his lie will continue forever, and his throne endure before me like the sun. It will be established forever like the moon, the faithfulness witness in the sky. But you have rejected, you have spurned, you have been very angry with your anointed one. You have renounced the covenant with your servant, and has defiled his crown in the dust. You have broken through all his walls, and reduced his strongholds to ruins. All who pass by have plundered him; he has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes; you have made all his enemies rejoice. Indeed, you have turned back the edge of his sword. And have not supported him in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with a mantle of shame. How long, Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how fleeting is my life. For what futility you have created all humanity! Who can live and not see death, or who can escape the power of the grave? Lord, where is your former great love, which in your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, Lord, how your servant has been mocked, how I bear in my heart the taunts of all the nations, the taunts with which your enemies, Lord, have mocked. With which they have mocked every step of your anointed one. Praise be to the Lord forever. Amen and amen. Let's pray. O、oh、God, faithful and true to all your promises to redeem sinners in spite of their unfaithfulness, with mercy and forgiveness through faith in your Son and the enabling power of your Spirit. To make them fit for an eternity with you, may your faithfulness strengthen our faith in you until then. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen.